Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. Um, I've been absent. Uh, if you missed it on Instagram, I am pregnant. It's been a wild ride. So, I'm just throwing that out there so that if I make references to it, you understand and don't fill out the loop. Um, but probably most of you already know from Instagram. So, today's video is just going to be a current favourites because for months now I have not been doing my monthly favourites, which I really do miss. So I just kind of want to like catch you up on what I'm looking at the moment and then hopefully I might get into some kind of routine again. I might not. So... I may sound a bit congested, that's because I'm pregnant, and I will likely be sipping on my water, which this may as well be a favourite for right now. Um, I got this giant 50 ounce water mug from Amazon, and it really does help me drink a lot more because I, I only fill it twice, you know? So I'm having 100 ounces a day. Staying hydrated. Alright, my first current favourite are my Soothies. They are the kind of squishy cloud slides you've probably seen on Instagram, that's how they got me. I don't have them with me because I did wear them out in the rain and so they they have mud on them right now, I need to clean them, but they're really more of like an indoor slipper, but they, they kind of become an every everywhere type slide. Super comfy, great to waddle around in, and um, they've definitely been a favourite. As always, everything will be linked and listed down below. I do have discounts for some of the stuff I'm showing you, so check there for any codes or relevant information. On to the next one. A couple skincare favorites. My skin right now is somewhat behaving, uh, but it's been not behaving while I've been pregnant. So I've had like full-blown acne sometimes. It's also been very dry. And so I felt like I was battling multiple different things. And I have a couple products from Wabi Sabi Botanicals which have just been delightful. One of which being the Moisture Boost, which I think probably a lot of you would enjoy. This is their Ultra Moisturizing Dry Skin Serum. I do typically have combo oily skin, but I, I've been enjoying this no matter what my skin is doing. So I use this kind of as the last step to seal everything in. It kind of feels very rich and nourishing, but it doesn't uh, leave like anything thick on the skin. Just kind of an oil texture, great under makeup, great for uh, nighttime as well. So really been loving that and all of their products are free of essential oils. So if you are sensitive, um, definitely check them out and the packaging is just mm, to die for. Um, and then for my under eye, I found that like makeup was just sitting really weird and this is uh, a really nice way to prep the under eye before makeup or just to use uh, all over the face, however you want to do it. This is the Light Reveal Illuminative Eye and Face Serum. So I will like just kind of drop the tiniest amount on my finger, rub my fingers together and then use that on the under eye area and then put my makeup on and it just sits so much nicer. And I also will use it as like a nighttime treatment too, so definitely two favourites. Love their products and um, some beautiful packaging. Very beautiful. Do have a discount for them so it will be below. I'm out of breath already, this is, this is going great. This is more of a general one, uh, <laughs> super goop as a brand, uh, great SPF products. I picked up first of all the Unseen sunscreen, um, which a lot of people love, SPF 40, uh, water and sweat resistant, clean, chemical sunscreen, active, roof safe, non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, vegan. This one is kind of like having nothing on your skin or having just a very light primer on the skin. Looks really nice, just with nothing on top, but it was also great under makeup, gives you a kind of a nice slinky feel. Really big fan of that. And then a lot of you recommended the Glow Screen, which is their kind of slightly tinted shimmer version, or not, not shimmer, but glow version of that. And I've actually had a lot of different um, recommendations from people with very different skin tones. So uh, it seems like you can still enjoy the glowy aspect, even if you have much deeper skin. Uh, I had a few friends recommend it to me that have much deeper skin tones than I do and um, it just, it looks beautiful. Most days I will just apply the glow screen, a little bit of concealer and do my brows and lashes and I uh, really love how it makes my skin look. So two great options, whether you want something more glowy or whether you want something 
uh, very slightly mattifying and really good under makeup. They both are, but just depends on what you want. I do have a couple other um, items from them, but this is the other one that I wanted to mention uh, for today at least, which is the Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF 50. Uh, some of you might just prefer to use a stick to kind of swipe over, especially for touch-ups, and um, this one does feel very nice. It feels to me similar to... What is that milk product? It's like the oil stick. Uh, I really like that one under makeup as well, and this is kind of just like an SPF version of that. So it is very slightly oily, but it's very light on the skin too, and it gives you a beautiful glow. Um, obviously there's no... Um, there's no shimmer per se to this, there's not going to be any like light reflective particles in it, but it does give you a beautiful, just dewy glow. Um, so all great options, I've been really enjoying all of them. And um, protect your skin, my friends. Okay, let's do some shower slash post shower faves, shall we? Is it EOS or EOS? I don't know how people refer to this, but it's Evolution of Smooth. They're the ones that had the like round lip balms that everyone had like many many years ago but they were very recently added to the Logical Harmony cruelty free list so I picked up a couple products from them uh, and I've been loving their shave cream so uh, for shaving I do use a like safety razor which can I feel like it's not that much more hazardous than a normal razor even though you are use you know you're replacing actual blades in there but um, it just takes a little there's a learning curve I feel like you need to take your time use a really good shave cream and anyway it's a great razor I have the leaf razor uh, and this the combination of that with this shave cream is just the best uh, it definitely helps me not get scaly legs I do get kind of like scaly dry skin on my legs after shaving usually and this um, kind of works as a nice moisturizer at the same time as being a shave cream so <laughs> Pardon me. It does say it will work wet and dry, but I've only tried it like in the shower when I'm wet, so I can't really speak to that. But this is the pomegranate raspberry one, um, and it has uh, shea butter in it, so super moisturizing and just a really good shave cream. So if you've been looking to pick one up, um, it does just have like a pump. Uh, comes out like a cream, and I love it. I'll definitely keep um, keep using that. And then, uh, very important because my body has been growing, changing shape, and I want to keep it as, I want to keep my skin as comfortable as possible. Uh, I'm not so worried about stretch marks because I'm either going to get them or I'm not, but um, I do hate the feeling of tight, dry skin, which I'm prone to anyway, so I kind of want to do my best to counteract as much of that as possible with the products I'm using. So while I'm still damp, wet out the shower I've been using the Dirty Lamb Co High Butt Body Serum. This was from a Kinder Beauty box which I actually owe you a video on them very soon. Anyway it's vegan, uh, natural, unisex apparently. I was convinced that it must have had like gardenia in it or something but I actually don't think that it does and I thought that because it really to me it smells just like Bora Bora. Anyway, um, it's a series of oils. Beautiful, beautiful on the skin. It smells really good, kind of like, I don't want to say tropical because I feel like then you think of um, synthetic tropical fragrance, but actually like when you go to a beautiful hot tropical climate and the flowers are blooming and just everything smells good and fresh, that's what this smells like. It has hemp seed oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, jojoba, vitamin E, there's some lavender, orange, rosemary. It, to me, it smells just like gardenia. Don't know why. Um, but anyway, it's super nice on the skin. My skin just feels happy and it really does lock in that um, hydration from the shower too. So I'll either apply this straight on wet skin or I will do my vitamin E cream and then this on top. I'm taking it very seriously slather it all over um all over my body really but i focus on mostly like um belly thighs uh boobs anywhere that's been expanding rapidly and it is delightful you can see uh, i'm over halfway through it's beautiful what else can i say smells good feels good yeah and then because i've been keeping my makeup either <laughs> non-existent or minimal at least. I do only have one makeup item to show you but it's the Kosas um, concealer. What's its name? 
Obviously it has a name, but I don't remember what it is. Revealer concealer or something like that. I have it on today on my under eyes. And I think I had a little bit on the chin too. The places that I usually put concealer. And it's honestly just delightful. Like I said, often I will do uh, my glow screen, some concealer, lashes and brows and call it good. It just makes me feel a little bit more done, um, makes my skin look a lot more even. And I love to use this even in a more natural way or like more full coverage like I am today. So whether I'm just like blotting it in with a finger real quick or I'm applying a bit more and going in with the sponge, it's just beautiful. I love the coverage, very comfortable on the skin, great for the under eye area. Um, if you have dry under eye, this combination, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, I just think it's beautiful, very natural. Like I said, I use it either very lightly or a little bit more heavy for a bit more full coverage. And it's just treated me very well. I'm so glad I picked it up. And the color I have is 3.5. It is a little bit more um, on the yellow side, I would say, but it blends out so well um, to use over like any redness that this has just been working great for me on the whole face. So I actually really like my makeup today. Should I do a toot on that? You let me know. Okay, so the other things I don't necessarily have with me, there's some TV because I've been watching a lot of it um, and some food stuff, but I did want to ask you if you wanted a new, um, hair favourites. So I feel like I've been trying out or going back to some old hair favourites, and it might be fun to just do, like, a specific hair favourites video. Um, my hair is also a lot longer now. I feel like it's just been growing. Funny when hair does that, eh? So let me know if you want a hair favourites, and I will update you on what I've been using. Uh, I have been trying out a lot of, uh, new things from Cake, because my local Walgreens has it now, and... <laughs> I love their stuff. Okay, I really need to talk about cream cheese because I found a new favorite, which I think is as close to like what I remember Philadelphia being like as a vegan cream cheese can be. Some vegan cream cheeses are just like fine, you know, like they fill the void, but um, the Via Life cream cheese, does it have a special name? I have not tried the flavored ones. Uh, looks like they have a garlic and herb one, but I haven't tried it, but just the regular plain Jane one. Wow, it is so good. If you have access to it, definitely pick it up, try it, let me know what you think. It is by far my favorite vegan cream cheese. Oh, and then drinkies wise, uh, I wasn't drinking alcohol for a while before getting pregnant anyway. So I have been trying a lot more non-alcoholic drinks and uh, lots of people had recommended to me athletic brewing. I don't know if they only do non-alcoholic or if they have a mix so definitely make sure. I think they call it like the Cerveza Athletica. It's just like a very light nice kind of like lager type beer and it really does do the trick. Uh, I find a lot of non-alcoholic beers you're like okay it's fine but like there's something missing which is obviously the alcohol but this does not have that like missing thing when I drink it. Uh, they do have a bunch of different types but for me I really like like light kind of crappy beers anyway, like Bud Light is my ideal beer. And I really like that the um, athletic brewing ones have no booze in, so I haven't been drinking a ton of them, but if uh, sometimes I think I might want like a nice drink with dinner, super convenient to have. And I know a lot of like friends and family like their stuff too, just because they don't drink, so yeah. Okay, let's talk about TV or things that we can watch. So I've got hair all over me. My favorite, my current favorite YouTube channel is the Welsh Twins, okay? I've watched them individually. One does makeup, one does skincare. They are twins, um, but you can just tell that they spend a lot of time together because they're just hilarious. Like the energy just bounces off of one another. I love their channel. They do um, just like really silly stuff. They're really silly and funny and British and I just, it makes me miss home, makes me miss my sisters and like the silly banter that you have and um, they're just a joy to watch. And they sometimes put out really long videos, which I like. So, uh, the Welsh twins, definitely check them out. It's like somewhat beauty related, but then they'll do like <laughs> history stuff too. Um, super funny. Definitely recommend checking them out. I've been watching a lot of Chef's Table, which if you are not familiar, it's a series. There's like endless episodes and they pick a different like world renowned chef for each episode goes into like their background. And they do often have like you know like wild stuff that's happened to them in their life and it goes into that a bit so that's like a really good one to watch um 
just to learn about different chefs. And uh, the other one is The Chef Show, which, what's that guy's name? You're gonna be like, oh my gosh. John Favreau. Um, he, him and like his friends just make different foods and it's really interesting sometimes. It usually is with uh, Roy Choi, but um, he sometimes has like random other people come in too, or they'll like go to places that he's like worked in. It's a great show. I've been watching a lot of food things, if you, if you didn't notice. Okay, and then we also have been loving Acorn TV, which is like a channel through Apple TV, I think. Um, I think it might be something to do with BritBox, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it's called Acorn and it has all of the good like British crime shows on or like police dramas and if there's one thing British people know how to do well it's, it's to make a good crime slash criminal drama. Crime slash criminal. <laughs> and one show I, I think I had started The Fall before and then just hadn't fully got into it and we anyway we re-watched The Fall which has Gillian Anderson in it. <laughs> Love her. And it is just the prime murdery crime show set in Ireland and um, wow the amount of detail in it is what really makes me happy because I hate when you're watching a show and they like skim over something or like don't follow back on it and like catch you up with what just happened or you have like a lot of questions at the end the the detail in this show is very very pleasing so highly recommend watching the fall it is horrible but it's a really great show um, and we've just been watching a lot of stuff like that on Acorn TV, like there's also, um, what's it called? I always call it Call of Duty, Line of Duty, that's on there too. There's like, I'm sure you can watch a lot of these things in other places, but it's just nice to have it all in one area. And we just open it up over dinner, figure out what dark, crimey thing we want to watch and, um, there's other things on there too. Like a lot of the British, like late night uh game slash talk show kind of things are on there which are super funny and i feel like we don't really have that so much in the us um so if you are living abroad and you're missing home acorn tv check it out okay friends well i have updated you on my current favorites i am getting back into a little bit more makeup stuff now i just couldn't face putting makeup on and then vomiting to be quite honest what a waste, you know? So anyway, getting back into it. I've been posting a lot more on Instagram now too. If you want to check me out there, I would love to be your little pal there as well. Please don't forget to get hydrated. I will be linking this bad boy down below. I know it's ridiculous. It's also very heavy, so keep that in mind. Um, but that does mean you're gonna <clears throat> build some little muscles, you know? Thank you for all of your well wishes and all of your questions. Sorry for being so absent, but just things were just happening, you know? So, yeah, love you lots. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.